Welcome to the ANSYS Innovative Course. I'm April Wan. In this course, let's talk about how time is handled in simulation. We know that time is continuous. Second, millisecond, or even microsecond are all not the smallest unit of time. It can be divided to infinite time points. Therefore, in simulation, it's impossible for us to find the structure's behavior at every single time point. What we can do is to solve the structure periodically with the designed time step size. So how to find such appropriate time step size and how to relate the solution at different time points? This leads to our topic, time integration methods. In this course, we will discuss two main categories of time integration, implicit and explicit, about their features, differences, applications, and how they work for flexible and rigid bodies in simulation. We will also solve an interesting baseball hitting problem and a problem for digger arm movement. Last but not least, to have more experiences with time integration, go check out the extra simulation examples we provide. And don't forget to complete the homework and quiz for better understanding.